Biggest thing is slow everything down, go to class. Please don't skip class because Coach Winnie will find out. And that's the, you don't want to get on this bad list right away. Um, and then just go to work. Don't say anything, don't, don't try to hype anything up. Uh, don't expect anything, just go to work and, and when your opportunity comes, take advantage of it. That means everything. You get the, you get the brag a whole year. And so uh, coming in, you know, we were 0-5, and, and that was one of the things I told Coach Twin when I committed. As long as I'm playing at Clemson University, I'm never losing to South Carolina. I don't care what the situation is, I'm not going to lose to them. And, you know, I went 3-0, and and that situation my freshman year playing on the tour ACL, I uh, told him, and I made that promise, and it came true. It's going to be weird. I've not been there, uh, but I'm going to have it on every Saturday, especially when I get the chance to. Um, whenever you know I get the chance to go to a game, I'm going to go um, and hang out with the guys and pep talk them. But uh, I don't know, I'm going to have my orange on on Saturday. So. They're just loyal and uh, respectful. They take care of their, their teammates and are the team really all the teams, all the sports teams that's a part of Clemson. And they show love each and every week, no matter who we're playing, where we're playing at. You know, it's gonna always be a seal orange um, of Clemson fans. Uh, Sweeney said all the time, it's, you know, the, the best is, 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 is the standard. And uh, we stand for, you know, doing it the right way. Um, you know, going to class and graduating and um, being better especially for the football team, a better man than the football player. And, you know, we made, he made sure that he takes care of the human being and not the, the football player. And it kind of go hand to hand instead of keeping the two separate parts. It is crazy. Um, you know, it's really a feeling that you really can't describe. You just have to experience it. It's special. And uh, each game day, each each feeling, each time you ride around the bus and run down the hills, it's a different feeling. Um, and you hear people say it all the time. And if you hear it, you kind of like, ah, he's just saying that just to say it. But if you really experience it, then you really feel it. So the best way I can, you know, really say is is uh, it's a crazy atmosphere. Uh, the biggest thing I learned was. Being detailed, being detailed at a game. Um, the previous year, and we lost by five points, but Coach Sweeney came back the Nets right before spring ball and showed maybe five clips. You know, we didn't lose it based off them making good plays. Yeah, they were wide open and they caught the ball, but it was the details of the game. If we would, would have been detailed on those plays, we would have won that game too. And so that next year, everything was about detail. Just the fans um, and, and the relationships and the, and the people and my teammates, those are the things that I probably miss most. Not just so much of playing on the field, but just the memories leading up to the game, off the field, hanging out with everyone. Because it's a Clemson. They, I know how they work. I know how Sweeney's going to coach them up. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of pressure and, and people, all eyes is on them, but Nothing they can't handle. Just be themselves, taking one game at a time, and and just play for each other. Um, it started with Coach Howard, um, Howard's Rock. The story was some assistant coach brought him a rock from Death Valley, the real Death Valley, and he kind of had it as a doorstop during his coaching days, and and all of a sudden somebody clicked, kicked it over, and he said something like, "Hey, don't touch my rock unless you're gonna give 110 percent." And so that became like the, the statue of it. And every time we run down it, they always have that saying. I mean, it's a couple. It's the warm up, uh, getting all the guys prepared and, and looking everyone in their eyes and, and knowing that they were ready to play. Halftime, the halftime speech with me and Sweeney. I'm talking to all the guys saying that, you know, and we're down, but at the same time, we're going to find a way to win. We don't know how we're going to win. Just know we're going to win this game. And then afterwards, just celebrating. Once the freshmen get there, they kind of give you a rundown. So we practice it 
pretty much. You know, he gets you, gets you look, then he gives you your advice. And when you're coming down the hill, please don't look out because it's a sloop in the, in the hill. So if you're looking out and looking at the sea of orange, you'll be shell shot and then you're gonna miss the little hoop and then you're gonna trip and fall. So people kind of take their time going down. Last year, uh, we had a freshman kind of, cause in the, the little hump, most guys jump and try to click their feet and do all kinds of tricks. And he did that and rolled his ankle and boop, 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 <laughs> right in front of the camera. So it was pretty funny. It's like a blur, it just kinda, kinda happened. I kinda knew before uh, the play even happened that we were about to score, just based off the look and the, the preparation and all the stuff we've seen on film. So he just kinda, kinda knew if I kept my footing and, and made a good throw and he kept his footing, it was gonna be a touchdown. And after that, I, you know, I just, we won it. Cornell Powell, number 17, he's a receiver. He was a freshman last year, played a little bit. I never only really know about him, but he's big, strong. He reminds me a lot like Artavia Scott. He can make some explosive plays and don't really go down on the first contact. Of course, Deion Kane, I think a lot of people know about him, the receiver. He's the next big one to come out. 